Happy Sunday, everyone. I'm super excited to geek out with you today. I feel like it's been quite a few weeks since we've geeked out on open source. So I have my screen shared ready to look at your open source projects and profiles. And let's shout them out. Let's give you some feedback. And uh, let's get some feedback from other people in the community because perspective is super important. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't forget to say hi in the chat um, if you're here. You know, feel free. Um, it'd be great to geek out with you. Ah, Nishant, first person to, to say hi. Awesome to have you here. Uh, and also we have Olha. Hopefully I pronounced your name right. I think it's your first time here. Great to have you here. We've been geeking out on Twitter as well. Super excited. So who wants to share their GitHub profile or their uh, GitHub project? Feel free um, to put it in the chat. You won't be able to put a URL. I think YouTube will remove it. But what you can do is you could put um, just the bit after github.com. So, for example, if we went to the BioDrop project, um, we can just put in after the forward slash, it'll be Eddie Hub community forward slash uh, BioDrop. Uh, and if it's just uh, if it's your GitHub profile, then you can just put in your username and we can check it out together and have a have a look. Let's have a look. Um, yes, we have gone through the issues. <clears throat> I don't know what's happening with my throat today. Um, hi, hi, Prakar. Hopefully I pronounced your name right. Um, awesome to have you here. We went through um, the Eddie Hub issues. Uh, we still haven't finished them. There are still more to go through of people putting their projects and profiles. And we are working through those. But I thought today, let's just go straight into the chat and let's um, spend today's live stream full time on the chat here as well. But I hope you're having, all having a good weekend. hope you found some time to relax as well as to code. Let us know in the chat what you've been working on. But do share it. Let's have a, let's have a look. I'm really, really keen. Um, I can share my uh, GitHub profile if you want to start off with. You can all um, roast me. I will not be roasting you. I will be constructive and super nice, I promise. But here is mine. I actually want to make changes to mine. I, I feel that it's a bit, I don't know, not out of date, let's say, but lots of things have happened since then. So I am thinking of maybe changing it. What do you think? I mean, should I keep the banner here? I feel my profile is a bit on the long side. I'm not sure. What do you think? This bit here in the latest YouTube videos, uh, this is uh, updated automatically by GitHub Action, which is super cool. I highly recommend. Um, but let me know what you think. Um, don't forget to share yours in the chat. Don't be shy, everyone. Like, like I said, I'm super friendly and I'll be super nice. And hopefully we'll get you some more stars uh, for your open source um, projects. But yeah, I don't know if I should shorten this at all. I've got two pinned. Um, and then I haven't got many green squares recently. I've been doing a lot of uh, client work. I think I need to improve on my issues. The balance here isn't very good. Oh, I used to have everything in double digits. Now I can see uh, issues is down to a single digit, which, you know, I always recommend having it in double digits if we can. So I think I need to work on some issues. Let's see what I can do. Perfect. We see the some messages coming in in the chat. Uh, that looks like you've been. Uh, looks like you've been very busy. Wow. Okay. Um, on a website for a new business, side projects, and for exams as well. Well, good luck in your exams and the projects. Um, you love the banner. I love getting feedback on my stuff. So be honest, everyone. This is awesome. Okay. You like the banner. It does match my YouTube, my Twitter, my LinkedIn. So the banner is consistent across all platforms. I think. I think. Let me know if I've missed anything out. Okay, awesome. The right balance of seriousness and fun, which I think balance is important. So that is good to hear. Uh, what do I think is out of date? Hey, Charles, how are you doing? Um, I, I think I haven't updated it in a while. I haven't got my digital products on here, so I could probably do that. I don't know if someone wants a green square. Does someone want to make the contribution? I can um, raise a, an issue or you can raise an issue and you can raise a pull request. I think remove sign up to my monthly newsletter because I actually think that link might be out. <gasps> four or four. I did. Okay, so there's a bug. Does someone want to raise an issue? And that'll get you a green square on GitHub. Um, and uh, someone can raise an issue that's a bug. And we can replace that maybe with my digital products. Um, and I've got, I think this is the right link. Oh my God, mine is really out of date. This is not how I planned the live stream to go. But I, I love that um, I want to be improving my profile. So there is a new link for that. I moved my course from Kartra to Udemy. So there is a link for that. I think we should, should definitely change that link. And um, this line, with this whole line, I think we should remove and put additional products. Raise an issue. I can always, don't worry about the full 
uh, like description of the issue as we're on the live stream here i can just tweak the issue i can hit edit and tweak the issue um let me just share this in the chat and then hopefully some of you can improve it let's have a look who has customized their github profile and who who hasn't um, maybe i have an issue for that already um on my repo i don't know so that that's mine um, but please do share yours i do want this live stream to be about your shout outs not mine uh, hey, um, I'm just going to call you English. That's the first name in your username. <laughs> Let me know what your name is. Um, so how to get started? Well, this I've said the link in the chat, and you can raise an issue to say um, this is this link is broken, and we can change it and update it and fix it, and you can do that as well, or someone else can do it. Remember, share the green squares between everyone. Uh, maybe because I haven't touched it in a while. Yeah. Yeah, I just I haven't touched it in, like, I don't know, maybe. I can actually, I could actually check, but the thing is, because the GitHub Action updates it quite often, so you can see it says it was updated yesterday. But if I kind of try and go back and see when I personally updated it, not the GitHub Action, we're going back quite a while now. Look, we've already gone back two pages, and it's six months ago. So I haven't updated this uh, my GitHub profile in six months. Here we go. I found it. Six months, six months ago was when I last updated it. So I do think that's out of date. There are some issues already. I've been really bad on my GitHub notifications. Um, and maybe someone has logged that. Doesn't look like anyone has logged that the links don't work. So um, yes. So there's definitely an issue for someone to to raise. What have we got? In the, oh, I just realized my screen is really small. I'm really sorry, everyone. There you go. That's what That's what it should be. I shouldn't have been big. My screen should have been big. So my apologies. Thank you for your patience. No one said anything in the chat. You're all too polite. Just you know, tell me straight up um, that something isn't right. Um, you shared it in the in the chat here. No, nothing came through. Uh, YouTube must have removed it. Don't share a URL because yeah, I will remove it. Just share the username or your uh, username organization forward slash uh, the name of the, the repo. Yeah, it, YouTube's probably removing it. Don't send URLs. Just I know it's going to be github.com forward slash. Just send me everything after the, the forward slash. While we're doing that, let's uh, let's have a look. Has anyone raised an issue? If not, I can raise the issue. Here we go. Um, and then let me know if someone wants to raise a pull request for these. So the first issue was uh, course URL does not work. Returns a 404. Okay, um, I've searched existing issues. I kind of have. Let's search. I won't tell anyone. Um, currently goes to a 404 page. Um, should go to the course homepage. Here we go. I'm going to leave those two out. And it was in Safari for me. Here we go. But that's going to be for, for everyone. Okay, so I'm going to submit, submit a new issue. It's a green square for me. Does anyone want to want to fix this one or shall I fix it? I can go and fix it. I don't mind, but I'm happy to share the green squares and we can merge your pull request on the live stream as well. Uh, let me know. I'll give you a moment to, to have a think and, and write in the chat. I don't usually drink Monster. But today, after packing the house, I'm absolutely shattered. So it's good to take a break and geek out with you or really enjoy it. Username is getting highlighted. Don't put an at in front of it. Like just if it's a if it's a profile, do something like that. I'll just share it in the chat. And if it's a repo, do something like this. Let me give some examples. They're just some examples. Uh, I'm a noob full of things to learn, uh, but sharing here just in case, why not? Awesome. We're all learning all the time, so don't worry. And actually, if you're new to tech or new to a project or new to anything, you've actually got a superpower. And once someone has been onboarded on that project or technology, they actually lose that superpower. They gain something else. So if you're new, please don't see that as a disadvantage. It's actually an advantage. I love it when someone comes to one of my repos and, and, and says, you know, hey, I'm, I'm new. Can you Can you help me out? I think um, I'd love to, but wait, let's use your superpower here. Say to them, have a look at the repo and look at the onboarding docs, you know, the contributing guide. Does it make sense? And if it doesn't make sense to you, there's nothing wrong with you. 
I'm going to repeat that. There's nothing wrong with you. There's something wrong with our onboarding process. And with your help, with your superpower, you can help us make it better for the next person. And then once you're onboarded, you lose that superpower and gain other superpowers. So use it as an advantage. So uh, great to have you here. Right, but I do need to fix these. This is quite embarrassing. Um, showing you with hyphen, please ignore the hyphens trying to pass. Oh, that's so strange. Um, because okay, so is it is is the hyphen a space or do I just remove it? Uh, I'm not sure. Let me know uh, and let me just fix these. If no one wants the green squares, I am going to fix it because I am very disappointed in myself that I have some broken links in my GitHub profile. So this is Markdown, so you can always hit Preview and see how it looks. But what I'm going to do is change this link here, Course Landing Page. It will be on Udemy. I can't remember what my URL is either. So I'm just going to go to, is it Instructor? Let's have a look. Here's my course. It's completely free. You're welcome to take it. Uh, and how do I get the link for it? Edit or manage? I just want the link for it. Um, I don't want to make any changes. I just want the link. Okay, there must be an easier way to do that. Where else do I have the link? Ah, my BioDrop profile. Here we go. So if I go BioDrop, I have course. And this link I know works, he says. Yes, it does. Okay, so I'm going to copy that. Um, okay, perfect. Let me just do it in private browsing and just make sure that um, it's not like taking me to a special page. People should be able to log in. Okay, I think that should work. So what I'm going to do is I am going to fix issue number 149 by updating this URL. Here we go. Okay, and I'm just going to make a commit. And you can do this all in the browser. So I'm going to say fix, and I'm going to say... Um, GitHub profile course URL. I always like to put the number in it, and we said it was 149. Um, I'm going to commit directly to main. You shouldn't usually do this, especially if you're in a fork. But in this case, I'm going to do it to main. So please don't do that. It will work the first time, but will probably break the second time. So now I have done that. Usually you create a pull request. I should have done a pull request. I'll do that on the next one. It's a very bad example, Eddie. Very, very bad. Because now if I refresh this, it still says open, but I have fixed it. It's got my commit here, but if I've done it via pull request, the pull request would have closed the issue. So we can we can walk through that and do that together if that is helpful, right? So let's go back to see how it looks. So now if we go back to my GitHub profile and I click on this, make your GitHub profile stand out, it now works. Okay, perfect. Well, I had quite a big thick beard in that, beard in that video. Okay, so now we've got this last one to fix. Does anyone want to raise the issue for this, or shall I raise the issue? I, I'm happy to get more green squares. Uh, you know, I like to to share the the green squares. Um, just remove it. Okay, we'll look at that next. Hey, Carl, how you doing? Awesome to have you here. I hope all is going well. Um, and uh, yeah, let, let's know what you've been up to and what tech you've been working with. You're always working with the latest exciting technology, so it's always great to hear. Uh, just in the chat, I haven't got anything um, uh, anything set up to collect it today. We're just going to use the chat. So just put um, the URI, not the URLs. So put everything after github.com forward slash, put everything after that. Uh, VJ, you don't need, need anywhere to put it. Just put it in the chat. Hopefully YouTube isn't removing strings uh, now. Cool. Love it when other people uh, jump in and help me out. Thank you. You were faster than me. So that's great. Uh, mine is cybercoder hyphen uh, without the spaces. Oh, it's so strange that it was removing it. Okay, we'll look at those two shortly. Let me just fix this last thing on my profile before I forget, and I promise we'll get to to yours. Um, oh, I'm glad you took the course. Thank you very much. I'm thinking of doing an updated version of the course. Um, so. Uh, like more more detailed into customizing your GitHub profile to get a job. That's my my the my thinking, my details on that. Hey Slavin, how you doing? Awesome to have you here. Currently going into HTMX. Yeah, it's getting very popular. I've seen it at conferences and events, getting talked about more and and, and so forth. So uh, awesome. Uh, how are you finding it, Carl? Are you using it like by itself? Is it is oh, I'm trying to remember. I haven't looked at it in quite a while, but is it its own like? Is it an alternative to React, for example, or do you use it with React or Svelte? I remember you're into Svelte a lot. Okay, no one wants this issue, so I'm just going to raise it. Um, 
and it was month remove monthly newsletter. Like I said, I could do with the green squares. Let's have a look. And I'll do it via pull request this time, so you, you, unless someone else wants it, but so you can see the process. Let's have a look. So uh, remove um, newsletter and replace with what we're replacing it with. I forgot now. Oh yeah, digital products, digital products. I know this doesn't exist already. So current behavior uh, lists it. I would say in the list newsletter URL exists. Um, replace newsletter URL with digital products URL. And I will just get the URL for that. So if anyone else wants to do that, they can. There we go. Save that. There we go. Okay, um, and it's in Safari, but it's in all browsers. But there we go. Okay, does anyone does anyone want to fix this? You don't have to. I'm happy to do it. I guess I'll do it via a pull request, not via a fork, but via a pull request. If someone wants the green square, you're more than welcome to. Hopefully, hopefully that's a good first issue. I could put a good first issue on it. Um, is there a good first issue on this? Um, it's Eddie have good first issue. Okay. Um, hopefully it has what you need. I could even give you the, the text so you can literally copy and paste it over that item. Let me know. Uh, just widening my horizons right now are not for production, at least for now. Um, uh, okay. Instead of a front end library, I just saw some really interesting, um, things that it can do like just switch components out with animations, if I remember correctly, and lots of awesome stuff. Do let us know what some of your favorite features are with it, because it'd be quite, quite curious. Okay. If no one wants this, I'll fix it, and then we can get onto your profiles next. So what we're going to do to fix it, we're going to come here, and it's just this one here. So let's hit Edit. So we want to replace uh, sign to newsletter. We can say, check out my digital products, including a markdown course. Or maybe for example, for example, okay. And then we'll put in the URL, which I think I still have in my clipboard. In the other ones, we've actually put it with text okay um without the url i might just leave the url for show let's see how this looks um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna commit it we're going to create a branch i think github should suggest us a branch perfect and we will say fix newsletter url with products url and the number we have i'm guessing is 150 let's oh where's the issue gone oh, i can't get to i'm pretty sure it's 150. Uh, Let's propose those changes. Okay, here's pull request, and we can say closes issue 150. Yes, perfect. Usually you put a bit more information in the description, um, but I am just going to hit create pull request. And once we uh, once we merge it, it will close the issue for us. So we can say squash or merge. There we go. And if we go to, I'm gonna delete that branch. And if we go to that issue, you can see it's also closed as well. And now on my profile, here we go. Looks all right. Let me know what you think. Okay, now onto your stuff. I know you will be waiting for that. And so have I actually. So should you see preview first before committing? Yes, always do things like that. You're absolutely right. It's always worth um, checking. Yeah, good, good point. You commented on the PR, did you? Let's have a look. Um, let's go here, let's have a look. Um, there we go. On which one? On, on my PR? I don't see it. I did just notice that someone has said change your name from link free to bio drop. Oh, so I have to look at those. Maybe I have made some other mistakes in my profile, but let's leave my profile for now. It's something I'll have a look at afterwards. So, uh, okay. Branches and protected. That's fine for my profile. Okay. Let's get started. So here we go. Right. So remove the hyphens and it should hopefully work. Let's try it and see. So let's remove the hyphens. So what have we got? 
P R A K H A R T I W A R O R I, sorry, zero, I think. No, I spelled that wrong. Uh, what did I spell wrong? I removed the hyphens. What did I do? What did I do? Can I can I search? I wonder if I can search on GitHub. Oh, I've got Eddie Jowd in front of it. Sorry, my bad. Of course, it's going to be a 404. Haha, here we go. Okay. Told you it was a long day packing today. <laughs> Still got so much more packing. Moving is so stressful. And you think as a digital nomad, it wouldn't be that stressful. But when you're moving like literally everything, not just stuff you need for a few months, but moving everything, you've collected that for years. It takes so long. Okay. So um, what do you all think? I want your feedback on the on this profile as well, or on each other's profiles, because different perspectives is super, super important. So let me know what you think. By the way, while you're there, give the video a thumbs up. It really helps support the channel, and I appreciate it. Uh, okay, so uh, man of creativity. I, I, I really like that. That's really good. Um, I think that's cool. Uh, so these are my first impressions. And I think the picture's great. Like You can see the person's eyes. I just think that makes it more personal. Um, so I think that's really, really important. So I think a great, great photo. Um, my eyes are straight away drawn to this this banner. Um, and I'm not a huge fan of it. I'm guessing it's like a cartoon or, or manga or something. I'm not into that. So sorry if I get it wrong. But my eyes are drawn to that. Um, and I just think it hides the other stuff that you might want to promote, in my opinion. It, it, I'm not saying it's correct. It's just my thoughts. Um, so I would say, like, you want people to get down to this stuff, like on a journey to become a great human being like i want that to be like the first thing people see not not this um so that's just just my my thoughts and then my eyes next go to um the bio and it's great that you're following people and you've got people following you again it shows it's a real like project um and then you've got a list of uh organizations here maybe maybe too many maybe shorten it a little bit pick your favorite three three um, got location, which I think is really important. So people kind of, uh, know where you are and time zone again, super important in your website and your Twitter. Awesome. And you got some achievements and you've got some organizations. I think that looks great. I think that looks really, really good. And this looks great as well. I do like it how you've kind of broken it up with some uh, images as well. Um, so, uh, yeah, I think this is really good. Where does this go? If I click on that, it goes to your website. Okay, perfect. Looks good. Um, yeah, I, I really like this. I'm not going to read every line, but I think it's really good. Um, it shows what you're passionate about and you've got your present status. And you've got these stats, which I'm never a huge fan of, but you've kept it really clean. You've put it in one row, so I think it's absolutely fine. I think that's great. You've got your blog posts here as well. Um, I like it how you use the, cl the claps and show. I think that's great. I don't know if maybe you... In my, in my opinion, um, maybe don't hide those. I would probably hide the stats, to be honest, and actually show the blogs posts uh, just to get my, my thoughts. Um, so it's great that you've you've got these. I think this all looks really good. You've got two pinned, which I think is good because you've got a longer profile. If you had a shorter profile, you could get away with pinning maybe two more to make it four. But in your case, I think two is good. Um, the only other thing I would say is you're very commits heavy. So try and do some pull request issues and code reviews. I know they are harder, but again, that's what will make you stand out more is if you have more of a balance. Like this graph down here is so much more important than the actual green squares above. But otherwise, I think it looks really good. What does everyone else think? Let me check out the chat and see what I missed. Um, Love that. Thank you so much, Nishant, for uh, giving your thoughts as well. I, I love different perspectives. It's so, so important. It looks really good. Um, so, uh, yes, looks looks really good. I'm not sure if this needs need this on the right, like kind of is this Bambi, the, the, the deer? I don't know. Um, maybe something a bit more related to what you're talking about might help. But, yeah, I think... Um, Looks good. Right, who have we got next? I did see another name somewhere, username somewhere. Um, here we go. Uh, Cyber Coder without the spaces. Okay, let's have a look. Let's try see if I can get this right this time. Oh, let me share it in the chat if anyone else wants to check out these profiles. Um, here we go. So there is one, the profile we've just reviewed, and then we'll go on to the next one, and I'll share it in the chat. Do remind me. So what have we got? We have got Cyber... That's about that right. I did coda hyphen Nash. Oh, J, not H. Here we go. Cool. Okay. 
What do you all think so far? What's your first impressions? Uh, you're welcome. Just some thought, you know, pick and choose the, the parts that you think are the most useful, useful. You don't have to agree with it. You don't have to do everything. These are just, I'm just sharing my, my thoughts and ideas. Um, so yeah, take the parts that, that you want to make changes to and uh, hopefully that helps. And if you want to do none of them, that's absolutely fine as well. Uh, so again, great profile picture. Again, it's, it's, it's super like clean, like there's no distractions around and you can see the person's eyes. And I think that's just like really, uh, you get to feel like you know the person. So I think that looks really, really good. You have lots of followers and you're following people as well. Again, it shows a real project. You're in London. Awesome. I should hopefully catch you at some tech events uh, as well. Uh, same time zone. Yep. Uh, you got your email there um, and you've got some links. Awesome. Achievements. And you've got an organization as well. Cool. I think that uh, looks good. Um I'm guessing this is your website, this link. Let's have a look. Where does this go? Oh, okay. So that just goes back to that goes back to your GitHub profile. So I think maybe you're wasting uh, like a bit of a distraction, like wasting an opportunity there. Someone's clicking on it, expecting something. They might think it's a bug or something like that. So I would probably maybe remove the link off that or, or go to your website or, or somewhere else. Um, but otherwise, uh, looks good. Um, I like it. I love that you've made it like kind of, you know, yeah, I'm not going to read the details, but you've made it really authentic. It's not just about work. You've made it more personal. Again, you're, you're making it more human, which I think is super, super important. You've got Connect With Me. Looks good. Um, and you've got your technologies. Uh, you got your recent activity. Looks good. And um, Medium articles. I would probably, in my, again, in my opinion, I'd remove the recent activity because we've got that down here. So I think you're kind of distracting people from getting to your articles, which I think is probably more, more important and makes you stand out more. You've got four pinned. I think that's fine because you've got a shorter profile. So that's good. Um, green squares and yeah, down here, try and get double figures. You've got double figures in pull requests, a little bit more in issues and a bit more in code reviews again, just to kind of share that love as it um, were. But otherwise, I think it looks really good. What does everyone else think in the chat? Again, share your thoughts, everyone. Um, it's really important for people to get different perspectives. And while you're sharing that, let me just share the link in the chat as well. Here we go. So if anyone wants to go, go check it out. I'll have a drink while you're writing your thoughts in the chat. Did anyone else share their profile? Or is that it? Don't be shy, everyone. We're super nice and friendly here. It's a safe space for everybody. It could be a profile, it could be a project that you're working on, or it could be a project that you want to contribute to. I could maybe make some suggestions and, and you could raise them as issues and, um, uh, you know, and um, contribute to that project. So just let us know. As long as it's public and open source, that's all that matters. Hopefully things aren't getting lost in the chat. Oh, here we go. Oh, I did miss one. I thought there was a third one. Sorry. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you so much for sharing it again. Uh, just remove the hyphen. Okay. It's so weird why why YouTube removes that. There we go. Uh, uh, oh no! Remove the hyphen, Eddie. Don't copy it. Brilliant. Hopefully. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. I've locked you because you spoofed my commits, but we can still review your profile. Um, okay. Awesome. Thanks, Charles. We'll get to yours next. Shall I unblock you? You won't spoof any of my commits again. That caused so many problems. Um, my commits are signed, which is which is good. But um, I, oh, I can't unblock from here. I thought I could click on this. Okay, I will uh, unblock this after the live stream, uh, as long as you promise not to spoof any of my commits again. Uh, okay. Uh, let's have a look. So yeah, you've got followers and you're following people again, an active profile um, and you've got your location, time zone, love that. And you've got lots of links again, which I think is really, really good. Um, you've got uh, achievements uh, and you've got organizations. Awesome. Looks good. This bit here on the right, oh, this is interesting. See more. That's cool. That is actually very, like at first I was thinking, maybe this person really likes um, uh, Pokemon. Um, but this is unique. And I think being unique, people will remember it, right? And I'm really bad with, with names and so forth. But 
you remember certain things. And I'd be like, oh, the Pokemon person who had that awesome open close thing in the Pokemon. So I think that is very clever. I really like that. I might need to come up with something different, obviously not the same, uh, but clever and unique as well. That's really good. Really, really, really good. And again, your picture is really good. I know we can't see your eyes, but we can see it's you clearly. So it's a really good photo. Um, so I like that you've got your email address uh, and you've got your, I don't know if you need your projects. People probably can find your projects um, at uh, at the top here, but I don't know if you need that link, but it's not a big deal. Again, this is really, really clever. I'm still like, I think this is so smart. This is just so, so smart. I really, really like this. <laughs> I can't get over it. It's so good. I wonder, I'm just trying to think what tech thing can I do that can open and close? Um yeah, I really, really like that. Okay, so you've got you've got this cartoon character of you coming out of the laptop. Looks nice. And you've got a bit about you. And you've got it in a code block, which I, which I think is really clever. Again, very creative. Very, very creative. Um, what you're streaming, what you've got on Sp uh, Spotify. Um, recent activity. I think that should be below, right? I don't think you need, you need that, potentially. Just a thought to make it a bit shorter. Uh, again, you want the, the most important information on there. And then uh, you got your GitHub stats, okay. I guess this is collapsible as well, but when we open it, it all opens probably. And then you have got uh, terminal and some more widgets. I would just think about maybe shortening it slightly. I think the idea is great, but maybe it's a bit a bit too long. And you've only got one pin profile. I would say pin the second one, like make use of that white space. Always try and have it in in even numbers. Do two or four. In your case, I'd say two because of, of a longer profile. And you've got a good balance here. Oh, double figures on everything. That's awesome. Okay, I, I've got more work to do on my profile. Ten percent to double figures, double figures, double figures, and double figures. That's really good. Uh, nice work. And what does everyone else think in the in the chat? Thanks for the review. Great point. I have exams next month, so hopefully uh, meet after that. Sounds good. Next month, I'm still in the UK, and then I'm off to Portugal for a couple of months, uh, and then I'll be back in the UK for um, July, August, September-ish. So uh, we'll see you then. Cool. Good luck in the... Uh, um, uh, good luck in your exams. Uh, what does everyone else think? Let's have a look. Yeah, it's thinking out of the box, right? I just think it's again, if you like, I don't know, if you're someone looks at your resume and they go to your, hopefully you've got a link to your um, GitHub profile um, and then they go meet up with their colleagues and say, I interviewed, you know, these 10 people and you interviewed those 10 people as well, or you were there listening, looking through their um, uh, resumes. What did you think? Oh, I can't remember their name, but the person with the Pokemon opening, closing, and, you know, it's just something to remember, I think, because people will just end up looking at so many profiles at how can you be remembered so i really really like that i think that's really good uh okay yeah i'll look at doing that after the live stream uh okay so but yeah everyone really loves your creative idea maybe if you've got any more creative ideas that you're not going to use but you're happy for other people to use maybe share them in the chat because those ideas are are, are hard to, to come across right what we've we got next we've got charles um i think charles is next let's uh have a look Charles, don't say new profile. Just say my profile. Uh, I think um, don't uh, like belittle yourself. Please don't. We're all we're all new to something here, so don't worry. We're all always learning all the time. Let's uh, let's have a look. Um, C L E P H O one. Hopefully that's going to work. Okay, cool profile picture. I would maybe zoom in a fraction. Again, this is a very minor, minor, very small thing. I would just say try and zoom in a fraction more, make use of that that kind of white space above you um, just to make you a bit bigger so they can see your face a bit more. That's all. Otherwise, it looks good. I would say if you're happy, put your full name because then people can kind of search for you on LinkedIn and other platforms as well. If you're happy. If you're not, then that's absolutely fine. Uh, you're in New York. Oh, it must be morning for you now. I think you're four hours behind the UK. So uh, thanks for joining early on a Sunday. Um, have you got any more links you could add here? Maybe like LinkedIn or Twitter or something like that. Achievements and maybe join an organization. Uh, again, you could join us join us in Eddie Hub if you could join a, a few more. I don't collect organizations. I see people with like, I don't know, 20 organizations. And I think that's just way too much. But having a few, again, makes it look more look more fuller let's say otherwise i think this looks great i like the um the banner like super uh super clean absolutely love that um yeah this looks good uh 
The only thing I would say, and this is re again being really picky, and I usually wouldn't mention these things, but someone mentioned it to me recently on a similar word, and it got me thinking. So I would say, here you got you got a uh, burpee assassin. I would maybe remove the word assassin and put something else because there was a word that I was using. And I can't remember what it was, but it, what did I say? There's something I always say, which I've noticed people mentioning it now that I shouldn't, but this wasn't the one that I was thinking of. But I always say, like open source is uh, is like Instagram, but on steroids, because not only can you like and comment and reshare, you can also make changes and improvement. But steroids has a negative connotation. But this wasn't the word that I was thinking of. There's another word I use. And I can't think what it is. The same with assassin. It has like a negative connotation. So I would potentially try and change that for, for something else. Again, it's being super picky, but you never know. So I might get a bit upset by it. Um, I like this. It's great that you got a cartoon version of yourself and you've got like different poses. And I think it's great. Again, super unique. So I think that's uh, that's awesome. Cool. Looks good. Um, like this. Find me around the web. Nice. Okay. So I would say, yeah, put your website on the left here as well. Um, I know it's a duplicate, but uh, again, someone might just want to go to your website. Everyone has like different like goals when they come to your gear profile. So I would say maybe do something like that. Um, and you've got six pinned and that's absolutely fine because you've got a short profile. So as your profile grows, then um, I would uh, slowly reduce to four and then to, to two. Um, get some more green squares. I do that as well. So hopefully after I move, I want to get back into some new open source projects and you're all welcome to come and geek out with me. Uh, also, I would say make your contributing graph the, the one underneath that's like a, like a kind of a cross with the pull requests, commits, issues and reviews. I think it's a different way around, but you know the one that I mean. Um, I would say have you have to enable that. I would I would enable that. Um, is what I would say. Um, otherwise, I think it looks really really good. I like it. It's personal. Um, I think it looks great. What does everyone else think? Let me let's check out the the chat. I think I'm a bit behind in the chat. So let's have a look. What have I missed? VJ, we'll look at yours uh, shortly. You might have to share it again in a minute because I'm a bit slow on the chat. Uh, Izil, Izil, I have to pronounce your name right. We'll look at yours as well. We've got a bit of time, another 20 minutes. Um, awesome. Yes. Uh, my course is on my profile, but I can get you a link. Um, I'll close bio drop link, bio drop, Eddie. All my links are here. So, um, if I share my bio drop, then you can just get my socials if you want, but also the course is just down here under GitHub. Um, let me share that in the chat and have a have a look. Uh, yeah, Charles, I'm thinking of redoing the course, like a more modern version. That course is like three years old now. It's still in, it's still like relevant, but there's more stuff I want to add to it that I've learned since then. Um, so do, any feedback, do let me know. That I really appreciate that. Uh, thanks for sharing. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Charles. Um, yeah, we just got to be a bit careful with a few words, unfortunately, nowadays. Um, hey, Chris, how are you doing? Awesome to have you here. How's your weekend going? You probably had a hackathon this weekend, aren't you, Chris? What what, what have you built this weekend? Chris has probably rebuilt like GitHub this weekend or something like that. Hey, Praduma, how are you doing? Awesome to, to have you here. Yeah, no trolling today. I, I haven't like got the extra energy to try and figure out if you're trolling me or not. <laughs> Thanks, Krish. Um, I've also got a Markdown course um, that goes into a lot of detail in Markdown, which I highly recommend. I created that only a few weeks ago. Um, Krish has um, an affiliate link. So um, if anyone does want to buy the course, it's like $10. Then if you buy it via Krish's link, he'll get $5 and I'll get 5 So we'll split it 50-50. So um, and if anyone else wants to become an affiliate, let me know. You're more than welcome to. I'm not a fan of the paragraph style on profiles. I keep that uh, I keep that in my portfolio website. I think short, concise points and the readme look great. Yeah, true. I think people are going through it quite quickly, so the shorter the better. So that's a fair point. Maybe some if you can break it down to some bullet points. Again, it's it's hard. It's hard to kind of get it right. I don't think mine is right either. I've looked at some amazing profiles and I need to improve mine. We just keep iterating on it little and often. But I think um, when Char uh, oh, Charlie, I said Charles, but um, on YouTube it's Charles and here it's Charlie. When Charlie said, uh, you know, they've got a, a newish profile. I think this is amazing for a newish profile. So this looks great. Um, 
The Sennheisers look really good. Oh, my headphones. I don't know why I have them on. I'm not listening to anybody, but look, it's got GitHub on it. GitHub headphones. Yeah. They keep my ears warm in the cold UK weather. <laughs> no troll thing in Hackathon today because the semester starts tomorrow. Oh, have fun at your uh, starting tomorrow. With the affiliate thing, um, I'm going with a very simple strategy. Simple always wins. So that's great to hear. Too many people DM'd me about the sort of stuff you have on the store. So I include a link with my answer. Passive but working. That's awesome. Yeah, I think you've made, what, like five sales now? So that's uh, that's great. Thank you so much, Chris. Really appreciate it. Okay, who's next? Oh, we had some profiles shared, didn't we? Who have we got? Um, I'll come back to the chat in a moment. Let's have a look. So, uh, whose profile? VJ, remove hyphens. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, I didn't share. Um, Charles is in the chat. Let me uh, let me share it. Here we go. Um, okay, next up, V or is it V I J A Y K V five? No hyphens. Cool. Again, great profile picture. You can see the person. It's a bit. This one's a bit arty, which I really like as well. I'm, I'm, I find it quite memorable, as in being a photographer. I take photos, and I like these sort of sort of things. So that's great. Um, looks good. You've got like a one-line description about yourself, which I think is super important. You've got followers and following. The numbers don't matter. It just, to me, shows that the profile's active. Um, I think this is really clever. I saw someone else do this. I think I did a tweet about it um, in the organization, but looking for opportunities. And I think that's so smart. Again, I will remember that organization was looking for opportunities. Like, I just think that's such a clever and simple idea so you've got location i would add time zone i think you have to enable that on your profile i can't remember where you do that but i think you have to enable that and it just shows that you know you're four hours ahead and stuff like that so when people are thinking oh, i want to schedule a, an interview with them or call with them or whatever it is they can just have that in mind because people might not know what the time difference is between their location and your location you've got links looks good and you're part of eddie hub woohoo extra 10 points for that cool banner that's good. Is this a cartoon character of yourself or is it like a generic one? If it's of yourself, perfect. If it's a generic one, I would probably change it. Otherwise, it looks good. You've got your links at the top again. I really like that. Simple and clear. You've got your tech stack like that. Um, most used language. Excuse me. One thing I would say about most used language, because I actually had this on my profile, and then I realized that... As I changed technologies, it didn't pick up the newer technologies I was using because I had so much like content on my previous technologies, if that makes sense. So say I did like Java and PHP for like five years. And then when I moved to JavaScript, I was doing JavaScript for like, I don't know, three years, but it still said I mostly did Java and PHP and I was getting the wrong kind of clients and stuff because um, when they saw this, they thought, ah, oh, Java and PHP but I wanted to move more into, I was doing JavaScript and TypeScript and stuff. So what I would say is I'd be careful with this. I would suggest removing it in my opinion. You've got four pins and I think that's fine because your profile is like, a, uh, your customized part of your profile is a page long. I think that's great. Lots of green bears. Again, just try and, try and get code review up to up to double figures if you can. I just think again, it looks more of a complete profile. But I, was, I think that looks great. What does everyone else think? Let me check out the chat. Let's have a look, what have we got? Um, a little off topic, how to improve code reviews. Oof, that's, a, that's a hard question. You're asking tough questions, but a very important question. Um, yes, uh, code reviews are really tough and it's so important. Um, and it's actually one of the interview tests I do when I hire for my clients. Um, I do ask people to raise an issue and I do ask people to review a pull request, um, because it's so important for people to give constructive feedback in a friendly and empathetic way. And that's really hard and that takes practice. So uh, I've got some videos on this on my YouTube channel, but off the top of my head, I would say, try to ask questions rather than saying, this is the way it should be done because we've always got to remain open to ideas. That's why I, um, for my clients, when they say, oh yeah, we've got this person there, they're the lead person, they're gonna do all code reviews. I'm like, well, they can do all code reviews, but they shouldn't be the only one to do the code reviews. One, because you want different perspective and two people notice and look out for different things. I actually always like it. And I hate these terms, junior and senior, but just for simplicity here and to kind of um, explain what I mean, I'm gonna use those, but I don't like those titles because they're so inaccurate, but, um, I always like a junior person to also review the pull request because they're going to look at things very, very differently and they're going to ask great questions. Um, 
they don't make assumptions. And again, like I said, being new to tech or being new to a project, that person has a superpower. They can say, this doesn't make sense. They haven't got any assumptions. Um, so yeah, it takes a lot of practice, code reviews. I'm actually gonna create um, content on being a maintainer and code reviews and stuff. So I've got, I've got a whole strategy planned because it's six months until Hacktoberfest. So I've always done on getting into open source, contributing and so forth, that's been my content. But this year I'm gonna try and change it like to be more about maintainers. So uh, let's see, let's share some thoughts and discuss and uh, it'll, be, uh, it'll be great. Um, but yeah, all code bases are intimidating to begin with, no matter how big or small they are, because if you don't know it, you don't, you don't know it. Um, but that's something we can dig into. Maybe that make a really good Twitter space discussion, actually. Um, so remind me of that and we'll create a Twitter space on that. I think that'd be awesome. Um, love the support from everyone in the chat. Awesome. This is so important, right? It's not just about me. It's about all of you. I'm here to start the conversation. I want you all to continue it. Oh, Praduma hasn't updated their profile in years either. Me also, Praduma. <laughs> maybe, it was, maybe I said that before you joined the live stream, but yeah, I haven't updated mine in a long time. Um, I did two updates today, which I'm proud of because I fixed some bugs. But yes, um, no complaints. Looks good. Nice. Awesome. Hey, Sam, how are you doing? Awesome to have you here. Everyone who's listening, go check out Sam. Um, Sam is, let me get the, their... Um, uh twitter link one second sam and me are going to be doing some content soon on github security i'm actually actually stuck on that so it's actually good timing so go check out sam so sam's in london as well we meet at events uh and sam's focuses on the security side and uh i actually got my first security patch on github um and i don't get it like i get the changes because it kind of looks like a pull request but I don't get how I, there's no merge button. And then it says you have to make something public. And then the report is in draft. Does that mean is that why I can't merge it? Like, I don't get it. So I need a lot of help with this. And it's so important. Uh, and so Sam and me are going to be doing some Twitter spaces and some live streams and, and videos and stuff. And um, we're going to be geeking out with you all. So follow Sam and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to, to learn more about that. Thanks for sharing, VJ. It takes, it's quite scary to share. Did I share it in the chat, by the way? Um, I didn't share your, your link in the chat. It's quite scary to share our um, profiles um, publicly. So thank you so much for doing that. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Deleted my profile and made it again. <laughs> That's good. I think sometimes you need to, you know, just start fresh. Maybe I need to do that with mine as well, but I'm, I'm too scared to do that. <laughs> okay. Um, Krish and Praduma, any suggestions on my profile? Where's mine? I lost mine. I think I closed it. But uh, yes, any thoughts on mine? Who else have we got? Have we missed anyone else? Did anyone else share their profile? Let me see. There was someone else. Can can you, everyone who wants their profile reviewed share it in the chat? Chris, share yours as well. Uh, if, you've, if you've made it new recently, it'd be interesting to see. But now I've raised an issue. Has my stats changed? Issues are still at 8%. I need to increase my issues a little bit more. And get that into double figures. But everyone, do share it in the chat. Let's have a look at your profiles. Um, oh, we haven't done any projects today. Anyone got any open source projects? We've only got about 10 minutes left of this live stream. Can we um, get some more? Oh, thank you so much. I did miss someone. I thought I did. Thanks for sharing it again. Let's uh, bring it up and have a look. Uh, e Z. Oh, no. Not X, E Z H I L five six X. Let's have a look. Cool. Thanks for sharing. Uh, you know what I'm going to say? And again, this is my personal preference. So, you know, take it as they say with a pinch of salt. Like, you know, if you don't like, if you don't agree with me, that's absolutely fine. It's your profile. So you should do what you prefer. I would just say the silhouette, although it looks arty, it, doesn't make me feel like I know you. And I think you want to kind of bridge that gap. Um, so I would personally say, put a picture where people can see who you are. But if you don't want to, then that's absolutely fine. Uh, and you've got a uh, uh, description of security researcher. Oh, maybe you can also help me out with <laughs> this security fix. I'm trying to merge, but I haven't got a merge button. Um, you're in Chennai, India, cool. You've got uh, time zones like that. Great, great way for people to connect to you. You part of Eddie Hub. Ooh, awesome. Extra 10 points. Uh, I like this banner. And it's quite, quite, quite thin, which I think is good. It doesn't take up too much space. Oh, excuse me. 
profile views okay so everyone knows what i think about profile views i'm really not a fan on profile views i would say remove it because if the number's low it doesn't look good if the number's high it also doesn't look good so you might as well remove it in my in my thoughts um you've got your time wow almost like a thousand hours that's, that's awesome tech stacks cool socials cool the last seven days mm, i like that that looks good um and github stats um, I'm not a huge fan of these stats, but again, your profile is short. So, well, not short, but it's within a, about a page. So I think it's fine. You can keep it for now. Pinned, I would say pin the second one. Like you, you make use of that, that white space. What I'd say, got some green squares spread out over the year. Um, and um, you have also got some contributions. You've got pull requests, double figures, double digits. See if you can get issues and code reviews up to double double digits as as well. Okay, awesome. Uh, I think that's good. What does everyone else think? Let's have a look in the in the chat and see what other people have said. Um, and you, you need a GitHub beanie. <laughs> I have a GitHub beanie downstairs. I could always get one and keep me warm. Oh, you just enrolled in my uh, Udemy course uh, and bought you my Markdown course. Awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that, Charles. Um, thank you. Let me know what you think. Any feedback, uh, do let us know. Um, and I would appreciate that on anything. I, I really appreciate your feedback. So good or bad, just, you know, feed it back. Um, in my Markdown course, uh, half of it has video. And the other half, um, or most of the second half, will have video from the next few days. It's with my video editor. They're just uh, making some little tweaks and edits to the final videos. And then we'll get those videos out um, as part of the course as well. So it's, it's done. The text is there and the diagrams are there and screenshots and so forth. But I've started adding one of the feedback I got was to add video to my to my markdown course. Um, so from the first half and the second half is being recorded. It's um, going to be coming out in the next couple of days. Ah, okay. Yes, I did see an issue for that. So thank you so much, Praduma. So this is for my profile. Does anyone want to, anyone need a green square? Praduma, do you want the, the green square to, to change it to buy a drop? Um, or I can do it or someone else can do it. Let us know. Hey, Ari Dam, how are you doing? Awesome to have you here. Thank you so much uh, for joining. It, it makes sense to sectionize your GitHub profile with drop downs because it's too huge. Mine. Okay. Which bit should I hide, or do you just mean just have them in sections? Let me know. Um, yeah, I think the banner is great, right? Uh, I can't pronounce the name. Is Isil? Their banner is just so simple and clean. I love it. I think it's just it's great. Um, I think it's really good. Does it work in dark mode though? I guess is my question. I don't use dark mode, but um, everyone should test. I should test mine actually in dark mode now. But test your um, your banner in dark mode. I should do mine too. Yeah, and sometimes the stats don't load as well, which then just shows like a missing like image, which I think doesn't look good because I think your your profile's broken. Course course promotion idea: shill the bloopers on Twitter. <laughs> I'd love sharing my bloopers, maybe not for the course though. <laughs> um, but yeah, Purdue, let me know about the that that fix. You're right; we should change it from uh, link free to to buy a drop. Um, and I've got some new ideas. I want to start some new projects soon. Just not sure what technology to build them in. So um, I might have some planning calls. Maybe we'll do a live stream or a Discord community call on um, like what technology to use for for the projects and stuff. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. I thought I'd take a view first, Produma, but if you leave it for someone else, that makes sense. So do I still have it open? I do not. So oh, let me just share this in the chat before I move away. And then if I go back to my profile, excuse me, where is, um, oh, for link free, you're right, it should be buy a drop. I'm gonna make that change now. If no one else wants it, I'm going to make that change. And there is an issue for it actually already. Um, I did see it somewhere. Here we go, uh, link free website URL location, refactor. Oh, does it go to the wrong URL as well? Let's have a look. I've I made like, uh, yes, oh, it's, it's the wrong repo too. Okay, so that's a bio drop. And then that should be bio drop. Thank you so much. Okay, and the issue number is, I'll assign it to myself. 
Thank you. Okay, comment. And they let's have a look. That was like a year ago, Eddie. I'm so bad. But I don't think we renamed it only like six months ago, I thought. I'm not sure. I can't remember. My memory's terrible. Let me fix it. Um, okay, so if I commit, I'm going to go straight uh, rename link free to buy a drop. Um, and the issue number is 132. 132. And I'm going to make a PR for this so it can link it to the open issue. I should have done a preview first. But uh, let's have a look. Closes one three two. Create pull request. I can just check it now here as well. Just files change. Make sure I'm happy with those changes. Um, bio drop. Bio drop. I think I spelled it right. Let me just check the chat because you might have spotted something that I've done wrong. Um, let's have a look. Chris is always cutting edge technology. I'm not there yet, Chris. I'm like ten years behind still. Oh, sorry, VJ. You said you'd take it up. I saw that afterwards. Apologies. Well, I can close my pull request if you want to. If you want to do it, um, that's fine. Uh, you're welcome. Thank you so much for for sharing. I appreciate it. There is a PR with changes. Oh my god! Thank you all so much. Let me close mine. Let me close mine. If someone else has done it, I don't want to. Um, I can say it's a duplicate. Let's have a look. Uh, that was mine. Uh, name change. Here we go. Uh, they have done it. Thank you so much. Okay. Good spot. Everyone love the teamwork. That's why teamwork is so important. Okay. So I'm going to do that. I want to say, close. this is mine, right? Yeah, this is my one. Closing because uh, duplicate of, here we go. Always leave a comment, everyone. If even as your repo and, you know, it's so important, you can close it. Of course you can, but always leave a comment. So it gives context when someone's reviewing how you collaborate with people, they, they want to see this. So close that. This is 132, and we can actually say, let's edit this description and say, closes 132. Perfect. Um, and I can review it and approve it. I'll get my stats looking better. Actually, for those of you who um, wanted to improve their stats, why don't I paste this link in here? And you can approve this as well, because you don't have to be a maintainer on a project to approve it. So you can't hit the merge button. That's what you get as a maintainer. But if you want, you can approve it. You found it. I appreciate that. And I want you to get some credit for it. So why don't you do what I'm going to do? You can do it as well. More than one person is absolutely fine. Um, you can say, looks good. Um, thank you. And um, you can also do that even after I accept it and merge it. You can still review it. I'm pretty sure. But I'll leave it open for a second. And hopefully uh, some of you approve it as well. Um, and then you can improve your stats. Let me know if you want to approve it, and then I will merge it afterwards. I'll keep an eye on the chat this time, so I don't I don't miss it. Let's. Um, I'll, ha I'll have a drink while I'm waiting, and um, yeah, improve your profile stats as well. But don't. A general rule of thumb: don't go around as approving lots of people's pull requests because that's the fastest way to get like banned from a project or an organization. Obviously, if you do agree with it leave a good comment and you can improve it, but don't just go around blindly trying to do it for the stats. It doesn't work out well. But uh, yeah, for this one, um, let me know if you want to approve it and then I'll hit merge. Okay. Shall I wait for anyone or shall I hit merge? Let me know in chat. We've been going for an hour already, wow. Kicking out with you all has been so much fun. I really appreciate it. No takers in the chat? Okay, I will hit merge if there are no takers. Oh, wait. Today I'm going to be super slow with reviews and things on mobile. Oh, yeah, on mobile is quite, quite hard. I don't use my phone for anything, really. I have to be, have to be on my laptop. No worries, Chris. You've probably got like a thousand reviews today already, Chris. You're, I swear you're, you're, you're an AI. I know you are. You, you're an AI before AI became popular. Thank you so much. Awesome. Well, Krish has done it as well. Cool. Love that. And Praduma as well. Love that. VJ as well. Awesome. Thank you so much, all of you. That's cool. Okay. If there's no one else, my screen is loading slower. Ah, uh, yes. I probably have to refresh on GitHub. It sometimes happens. Let's squash a merge. Let's do it. So we can say uh, fix link free. Ooh. 
rename to BioDrop. Let's go. Perfect. So now if we go back to my profile, looks good. Click on the link. It goes to the project. Awesome. Okay, cool. I think all is looking good. And it's exactly on one hour. Thank you all so much for geeking out with me today. I really appreciate it and sharing your profiles and projects and so forth and, and finding bugs in my profile. I feel like I've achieved something today because of all of you. And it's great to, to see your profiles. Um, have a great rest of your weekend. Have a great week. But I want to limit it to an hour today, not do a long stream, because I want you to also relax on Sunday, get ready for the week. Thanks again, everyone. I really, really appreciate it. Hopefully I didn't miss any profiles. Uh, if I did, we'll catch up with them next time. Um, and I will see you in the Eddie Hub community. Let's uh, geek out. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.